Hey fellow painters, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I'll be painting the two party animals from Tabletop World's Augsburg Market Kickstarter. These models were designed and 3D printed by Tiny Furniture. In addition to using the layering technique and shades to paint them, I'll also show you simple ways to create textures and weathering effects on miniatures. I hope these tips will help you boost your painting skills. The models have already been clean and primed. As usual, I'm going to show you all the paint colors that I'll use. Feel free to share your thoughts or ask questions as we go along. Your input is valuable to me and I'd like to hear from you. I'd also like to take a moment to thank each of you who had subscribed to the channel. As I record this video, we've almost reached 400 subscribers. So thank you for fueling my creativity by showing your support. After applying the base coat on our models, we apply shade and give it time to dry completely. Now let's talk about how to give the clothes a realistic appearance. First, to mimic fabrics, it's important to control the intensity of your brush strokes and use thin layers. If you want to replicate the look of wool, it's important to paint the surface so as to give it a fibrous appearance. Also, experiment with different shades, incorporating highlights and shadows. Take your time to build up those layers to achieve a subtle, textured look.
Now let's add wear and tears on the clothes of the drunk musician. Use a fine brush to carefully depict tears and don't be afraid to experiment with irregular shapes. This small detail not only tells a story, but also adds authenticity to the miniature. What happened to this poor bard? Is he so drunk that he fell off the stage by himself? Or did he get into a fight because his skill left the audience unhappy? Alright, time to get down and dirty. Mud stains and weathering effect can transform your miniatures. Start with a base coat of earthy tones. apply diluted brown and black strategically to simulate mud splatters. Consider the areas most likely to get dirty, the boots and the edges of the clothes on the lower parts of the model. This bard was definitely in a brawl. It's not easy being an artist. We're gonna add some mud stains on his comrade's clothes since he helped him get up. Get the final touches. Add small details like tiny highlights on torn edges or subtle reflections of wet mud. And there you have it, friends. Applying realistic textures and weathering effects will take your miniature painting to the next level. Don't be afraid to experiment and, most importantly, have fun in the process. If you found these tips helpful, give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Would you like me to elaborate more on the topics covered or a different technique entirely? Just let me know in the comments. Thanks for joining me today. This first stall was a blast to paint. I can't wait to share the Ehlers stall painting session with you very soon thrilled to start the second stall, and I'm confident it will be magic. Also, a quick heads up, Fenris Workshop is holding a Black Friday sale until December 1st. Check it out through the link in the video description. Until next time, keep on painting and take care.